It was something we didn't uh, we didn't get a shipment in for the company, so it, it was going to be a couple weeks. And then everybody was like, "Fries is having like one of their sales, and it's only ten dollars, and it just came out." And so we all, we all went down to Fries. And Can we buy our game, bought our please? <laughs> bought our own games. Well, from my point of view, uh, we we're powering away on StarCraft, but Diablo was reaching its shipping point, and it wasn't necessarily on deadline, let's say. So uh, one by one, people would fly up to San Francisco to keep working on Diablo. And eventually, the entire team was up there working on it, except for me. And I knew that there were all these things that the designers wanted, that the engine as it was, it was buggy, it couldn't do those things. That gave me time to just say, I'm gonna gut this engine and make it so that everything they're interested in, the interceptors, the tanks, siege tanks, all that stuff would be possible. And then one by one, everybody came back and now we had an engine that could really do all of the things that they were interested in. You know, we were young, we were early 20s, we were having a great time, like work was our life. You know, we didn't have things like families in the way. You did, well, you just had a, a baby. My son was born three months before we shipped. So for those last three months, he was born and then I just kept crunching right through that time. I pulled out a drawer and I put a towel in the drawer and I laid him in that and uh, I'd work, you know, give him a bottle and go back to work. I, I do remember like the, the announcements like, you know, StarCraft's doing really well in, in Korea. And we're like, awesome. <laughs> like, we didn't quite understand at the time yeah. what that meant you know, for, for Star, StarCraft or Blizzard in general, you know, it's like one of those things where we could never predict that, you know, it's like we did not create StarCraft to be an eSport. The, the multiplayer aspect was just because multiplayer is awesome, right? Ever since we played Doom 1 in the office at, you know, 3 o'clock in the morning and Bob is making his own, like, maps and, yeah. and you know, like getting together with your friends playing the game was, was just great. And we knew that we had to keep that going. You know? And it is crazy because we didn't even uh, localize it for Korea. Even then it was even more they like- They were playing it in English. Right. Yeah. There was like the divide versus the, hey, this is the, the Marine or this is the whatever, the Korean word. <laughs> you don't know the Korean word for Marine? Know. I should know the Korean word for Marine. They were so used to hearing the English versions of the units that when the, we did it in Korean, they didn't like it. Now, here we are, we're making the remaster. So I go, son, this thing that we made when you were born, <laughs> here you go, remaster. Now you can get to experience it all fresh again. It's, it's really exciting <laughs> to be able to do awesome. that.